Hello YouTubers, this is May Chosen One and I'm back, back again to share with you another vision I had of what I believe is to come. If you have watched my other two videos, I have shared with you many dreams that I have had and visions of what I believe is about to happen. Prior to receiving these visions and dreams, I have always believed that we were going to be raptured. I was taught that and growing up in the church my father preached that however lately i've been receiving different visions and dreams that have led me to believe otherwise i'm not on here to convince anyone to believe what i have to say but just sharing with you what i believe um, i have been taught like i said all my life that we were going to be raptured but the dreams and visions i am receiving is preparing me for otherwise I would like to share those with you. Um, tonight I'll be sharing with you a vision I had, and it was of me and my sister. We were walking and we were going to a church. When we got up, on, got up on the church, there were lots of people standing outside this church, and it looked like they were lottering. It didn't appear that they were about to attend service because it wasn't. It didn't look like it was a Sunday. I didn't feel like it was a Sunday or a Saturday or whatever. But I just felt like, you know, why are these people stand outside this church as though some would do a, a convenience store? When we got inside, um, there were people laying all over the sanctuary. They were not laying in the pews, but they were laying on the floor. It looked like some of them had made sleeping, had sleeping bags or made um, little uh, makeshift beds on the floor or made a pallet or what have you. And they were sleeping there, some of them. And we kept following the woman, which was a female pastor, to the back of the sanctuary. And when we got there, she opened up what appeared to be two doors. When we got through the last door, it was a huge warehouse, uh, st storehouse of food. I mean, she had everything. It looked like this woman had been preparing for years. This was not something she just thought of overnight even months but years I, I i would say because i remember seeing like um uh, these um forklifts that were you know were moving things around this is how much um you know merchandise she had and we were there to also either barter or collect items i do not remember what we got all i remember is that once i saw that i knew what we were there for. It appears that we had contact with somebody and we were only sent there by word of mouth. Um, because I remember not knowing this woman, but she knew we were coming. It was a female pastor who was in charge of this. I believe at this point in time that if you are not affiliated with a church, that now is the time for you to get affiliated with a church. Because I believe that there are lots of people um, there are, you know, ministers and pastors and who have following and flocks and, and uh, there are shepherdess over different um, people that God is preparing them and telling them what to do. This is my belief. Now, they're not going to come out and say, oh, I'm storing up food because, you know, as soon as you tell people that you're storing up food, they think that you're nuts or, you know, they believe that you're one of those, um, you know, doomsday naysayers. And that you don't, um, you know, believe in a rapture, which I don't now. I mean, I don't believe that the rapture is going to happen before the tribulation. I mean, why would I be seeing these things? I have no control over my visions and dreams. And now all of a sudden, it looks like I'm given instruction, you know, as to what to do. And I feel like there are other people, and I know for a fact there are other people, who are experiencing these same type visions and dreams because some people have emailed me and told me the same thing um, that they were dreaming things and they believe that. But as soon as you tell somebody that you are preparing for disaster, you know, preparing for something, then they immediately start talking about, well, I remember back in Y2K when people was doing this and that. But see, Y2K was all based on a computer glitch. This is not based on a complete computer glitch. This is based on what you're looking at right now. If you look at the economy, you see the signs of the times. There are more people on food stamps than ever have been recorded in history. You know, things are not getting better. And if you really want the true news, 
you're not going to find it on CNN, Fox News. They're not telling you the truth. They're telling you what they are allowed to tell you, which I know for a fact, you know, is not the truth. You have to get on YouTube. You have to pray and ask God to lead you to the right source to, to show you what to do. I'm on the northeast uh, coast right now. And I've been told in my spirit for a while now to prepare to move. So I know I'm going to move again. The thing is when, okay, not where, but when. Because I believe that something is going to happen on the east coast. Um, some type of, you know, you know, tsunami or something that this whole area is going to be flooded. I believe that. And my son had a vision, um, that kind of, you know, goes along with what I had, um, when he saw us on the, on the bridge and, you know, everybody was on the bridge, you know, confused and the government was trying to sort different people. If you look at my other videos, you'll see that. So I believe that if you're not affiliated with the church, find one. If you're not the type of person that's going to store up food and water, you believe it's nonsense, find a church that you can go to, pay your tithes, you know, because I believe that God will lead you to the right uh, pastor of, of, of your own heart. And what the Bible says that you will have someone to look over you, um, to oversee your well-being, because I believe that there are many churches that are preparing or prepping, but they're not saying anything. Because as soon as you say, yes, I'm preparing for something, everybody thinks that you're some looney tune or they put, they poke fun at you. Well, they can laugh at me all they want because I'm do, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Again, I'm, I'm being led to move to the Midwest. I don't know anybody in the Midwest. My son is in grad school in um, New Mexico, but I don't know anybody there, but the Lord spoke to me and the Spirit speaks to me in the kitchen, in the bathroom. I don't know why. And say, you don't understand why I'm telling you to go there. But just go there and you'll understand later. I heard that. So I know I have to pack up and go. I don't want to go, but I'm going. Because I have to do what God tell me. Again, thank you for listening to my video. I will be on here periodically sharing with you more dreams and visions as I receive them. May God bless you and may heaven shine upon you.